Dorothy Stratton, Bob Crane, Natalie Wood, Carl Switzer. They had more in common than just their talent. They were murdered under mysterious circumstances. And even to this day, there are questions unanswered. Join Facts First to learn about some old Hollywood celebrities who were murdered under mysterious circumstances. Dorothy Stratton Dorothy Stratton was born February 28, 1960 in Vancouver. While still in her teens, she worked a part-time job at a Dairy Queen when she wasn't in school. Around this time, she came into contact with Paul Snyder, who took interest in her and the two started dating. He was not only smitten with her, he also realized she was incredibly beautiful and could make a career solely from her looks. He convinced her to pose for him, including for several nude photo shoots. He took high-quality photographs of her and sold them to various magazines, including Playboy. Eventually, Playboy took notice, and after graduating high school, she became a Playboy model. It only took a few months for her to become a star. She became Playboy Playmate of 1979 when she was only 19. Around the same time, she met filmmaker Peter Bogdanovich, and the two fell in love and got married. All seemed well, except it wasn't. Paul Snyder was enraged at Dorothy's success. He felt he was solely responsible for her fame and glory, and he wasn't getting his cut. He also wanted fame and was perhaps angry she had left him and was now married to Bogdanovich. When she was working on her husband's film, They All Laughed, she decided to meet Paul Snyder to end their relationship and resolve any issues. What happens next remains a mystery. Eventually, Dorothy's body was found covered in blood. Next to her was Snyder's body. He had apparently shot himself. It was also discovered there was a strange apparatus in the room, which apparently Dorothy was tied to. The apparatus was a sex bench invented by Snyder, and it's believed that perhaps he wanted to sleep with her after he murdered her. Dorothy Stratton was only 20 years old when she was murdered. Peter Bogdanovich was naturally traumatized by the murder, but he moved on and eventually married Dorothy's sister Louise, and they stayed married until their divorce in 2001. Bob Crane Bob Crane began his career as a radio broadcaster in 1950 when he was 22 years old. He was so successful that different radio stations would fight for him, and he'd move to different stations as the offers rolled in. He was even asked to host one radio show in order to boost its failing ratings. But his real passion was acting, and television was the medium that gave him his best opportunities. His big break came when he had a small role in an episode of The Dick Van Dyke Show. This led to a regular role as Dr. David Kelsey on The Donna Reed Show. This role made him a TV star, and it's what led him to be cast on Hogan's Heroes, which was the show that made his career. While working on Hogan's Heroes, he had an affair with actress Cynthia Lynn and later Sigrid Vallis. He was a womanizer, and this sadly would come back to haunt him. Bob loved to film and photograph his sexual acts with women, and he got in touch with one John Henry Carpenter who sold video equipment, and eventually they became good friends. The two worked together to film Bob Crane's sexual encounters. On June 29, 1978, the actress Victoria Ann Berry visited Bob after he failed to show up for an important meeting. She found his dead body covered in blood. He had been bludgeoned to death with what seemed like a camera tripod. No one knows why Bob was murdered, but it was believed he had become sick of John Carpenter and no longer wanted to be friends. The court case went on for several months until Carpenter was acquitted, as there was no strong evidence pointing to his possible guilt. He maintained he was innocent until he died in 1998, but the stigma of the accusation hung over his head until his death. Even after John Carpenter's death, Bob Crane's murder was still widely discussed, and the 2002 film Autofocus was a portrayal of what may have happened. Natalie Wood Natalie Wood's mysterious death is still being investigated today, with the case being opened, closed, and reopened many times since her death on November 29, 1981. As of 2018, her former spouse, actor Robert Wagner, is considered a person of interest in the investigation. In 2022, he was cleared as a suspect, yet the case still remains open and unsolved. Natalie Wood was shooting for a film called Brainstorm and was aboard a yacht called Splendor, where part of the film was being shot. Her body was found floating nearby, and apparently she left one of the inflatable boats. She had close to 40 bruises and even abrasions on her body. Speculation over her murder continues 40 years later. She apparently had an argument with Wagner on the boat the same night she died. Christopher Walken, her co-star, was also a suspect, and his wife Georgianne wasn't on the yacht, and there's still no explanation as to why this was the case. Carl Switzer 
Actor Carl Switzer was best known for playing Alfalfa in the R Gang TV series. At age 31, the former child star was murdered at a home in California, apparently from a fight. Sadly, his career, like so many former child stars, faded away after the show ended. He was clearly exploited as he never received any royalties from the show. He still continued acting, but his roles were small and rather insignificant for the most part. He also had to take odd jobs here and there to make enough money. He had a few issues with police as he struggled financially for much of his adult life. On January 21st, 1959, Switzer went into the home of Mr. Moses Stiltz in a Mission Hills neighborhood. Switzer allegedly went to collect money from Mr. Stiltz that he was owed. A fight ensued and Carl was murdered. The full details and how the fight started still remain up for discussion, but we do know that Moses Stiltz ended up shooting Switzer. The court and jury ruled it was a justifiable murder. Gene Harlow's Husband MGM studio executive Paul Byrne was found dead next to a suicide note after confessing he was still married to someone else. Who this mysterious woman was raised a lot of eyebrows, as Paul was married to one of the biggest film stars of the time, Gene Harlow. But it was believed that Dorothy Millett was actually Paul Byrne's first wife. As Gene Harlow's stardom rose, so did the attention she got from successful and powerful men. One of them was film producer Paul Byrne, who was almost 20 years her elder. After a short time dating, they got married in 1932, when Gene was 21 and Paul was 42. Despite their marriage, he apparently was the common-law husband of Dorothy Millette. Only two months after their marriage, Paul Byrne apparently committed suicide by gunshot due to the shame and the lie he had kept secret. Jean Harlow claimed she had no idea about Dorothy Millette and her husband's secret. The case was shut. Until it was reopened in 1960, after screenwriter Ben Hecht raised a few questions about it. By this time, Gene Harlow had also died of a kidney failure, and whether Paul Byrne killed himself or was killed remains a mystery. Barbara Thomason Actress Barbara Thomason had a short-lived career, mostly in B-movies, including some made by Roger Corman, but she was perhaps best known as being the wife of star Mickey Rooney. But though she must have loved Mickey, there was another man in her life with a shady background. She had been in love with actor Milos Milos, who in a previous life was also the bodyguard of French actor Alain Delon, and had been accused along with actor and his compatriot Stevan Markovic of being involved in blackmailing the former French president Georges Pompidou. On January 30th, 1966, Milos Milos and Barbara Thomason were found dead at Mickey Rooney's L.A. home. It's believed she wanted to break off their affair, and Milos Milos killed her out of rage before turning the gun on himself. It's believed Mickey Rooney knew nothing of the affair. Other beliefs say he knew everything. What the actual truth is, we'll perhaps never know, since Mickey Rooney died in 2014. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these old celebrity murders was the most shocking? Let us know in the comments section below.